My name is Ramir Kamu, and I'm the CEO of Work Studio. It's a software development company. We do web applications, mobile applications. Well, living, uh, you know, my life both sides of the border has been interesting. I, you know, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I grew up in Mexico. I did uh, spend a couple of years here while I was young. That's actually when I learned English. Um, you know, I went to Dallas public schools for a stint. Uh, did some private schools as well. Went back to Mexico to actually Cabo San Lucas. And um, I, when I was in college in Mexico City, decided to come here to SMU and finish. Um, once, you know, the idea was to finish college, go back to Mexico. But uh, while in college, I started a business called the iWorks and just kind of kept going with that. I uh, met my wife here, uh, and uh, you know, she's also from Mexico. So we started a family, started a business, and we've been here ever since. Well, Work Studio uh, is a software development company. We do mobile apps, web applications, and we have this hybrid model where we have a local force, a local employee base where we have in Dallas, where we have project managers, uh, designers, we have uh, you know, senior tech developers. Uh, and we also have a group of development in Mexico, in Aguascalientes. So this hybrid approach allows us to be a lot more nimble, allows us to provide a lot better pricing for our, for our clients, and allows us to really uh, take on bigger projects than, than we would have been able to. The challenges of doing business across borders, uh, you know, with technology, it has been alleviated quite a bit. Uh, we, daily we have scrum meetings with our team, and we do that using Google Hangouts. So it, Every morning at nine, people jump into Google Hangouts and we just kind of start talking about the day, the projects that we have. Um, there's always a language issue at, you know, at, point, at some point. Um, we also, uh, immigration law tends to sometimes get in the way. You know, uh, sometimes we need people to come over and, and be client facing. So you know, visas uh, has always been an issue. Um, but other than that, in terms of uh, Financial transactions. I think it's it's uh, it's been pretty straightforward. Education is key on both sides because uh, you know we rely on on highly trained individuals, and in, uh, finding qualified people has been a challenge on both sides of the border. We we're currently looking for for a certain number of developers here in the states, and you know the demand is high, and we haven't been able to locate locate them in Mexico, it's also hard to find qualified individuals. And there's a lot of growth in the technology sector, so there's a lot of competition for these qualified individuals. Um, the schools, uh, engineering schools, really need to ramp up both you know, here in, in the States, I mean, well, here in, in Mexico, uh, because there is, there is a, la a, a, a lack of qualified individuals. I'm working out of Dallas-Fort Worth, number one, because this is kind of where I originally located. I've really grown to love the strategic um, part that uh, Dallas is. I think, uh, number one, just the location, you know, the airport. You're, you can be anywhere in North America in you know, about three hours or less. Uh, you know, it allows us to go to Mexico City, Aguascalientes, where we have uh, our development team in, in two hours. Um, I think the cost of living is much, much lower. The, the demographics, I think, are changing quite a bit also in Dallas-Fort Worth. Of course, we have a large population of Hispanics. Um, I think there are schools are really beginning to, especially you know, SMU, UNT, UTD, all these schools are really uh, gearing up their engineering schools. So there's, there's a large growing um, pool base of clients, of individuals, of uh, employees, so it's, it's a great, great city. The challenges the Dallas-Fort Worth area faces in becoming um, a business juggernaut uh, yeah, primarily relies on education, I think it's a, it's a, it's a huge one. So Dallas ISD currently is almost 70% Hispanic. Um, I was on the board of an organization called Avance and we focused a lot on um, early childhood development, which I think is key. And that is one of, I think that is the biggest challenge and the key issue for the Dallas community. It's going to be education. The next 10, 15 years, a lot of these kids are going to be part of the workforce. And we need to be able to train them. We need to be able to educate them. We need to be, have access to, to great schools.